In this video, we're talking about division of scientific notation, and we've got a couple of examples here. The first one is 0.0016 divided by 400,000. So what we need to realize is that we have a number in the numerator and a number in the denominator, both of which can be written in scientific notation. So we want to go ahead and write both of them in scientific notation first, and then simplify the scientific notation division. So for this top number, 0 0.0016, we locate our decimal place, and what we want to do is move our decimal to the right so we can get it one, two, three places here in between one, which will be our whole number, and six, which will be our decimal. So this will turn then into 1.6, now that the decimal is here between the one and the six. So 1.6 times 10 to the one, two, three places we move the decimal. And because we move the decimal place to the right, this has to be 10 to the negative three. Then we're gonna divide that by 400,000. But in this case, we've got 400,000 and the decimal place is here at the end. We wanna move this decimal place to the left until it's right after four which will become our whole number. So one, two, three, four, five spots until it's right here. So because we moved it five spots, now we're gonna get 4.0 times 10 to the five. And we keep this as a positive five because we moved the decimal place to the left. Now that both our numerator and denominator are in scientific notation, we can simplify this by handling the whole numbers separately from these powers of 10. So we're gonna do the whole numbers and the decimals together. We're gonna do 1.6 divided by four. So if you do 1.6 and you divide that by four, four doesn't go into one, but four goes into 16 four times, so we get 16 here, zero. We bring our decimal place directly up and we get 0.4. So 1.6 divided by four is gonna give us 0.4, and then we're gonna say times 10 to the negative three divided by 10 to the five. Well, if you remember this rule of exponents here, when you have like bases in the numerator and denominator, you just take the exponent from the numerator, in this case, negative three, and you subtract the exponent in the denominator. So negative three minus five is gonna give us negative eight. So we're gonna have 0.4 times 10 to the negative eight. But this is not in scientific notation. Remember, we always need to start this with a whole number, which means we need to move our decimal place here one spot to the right like this until it's right here so we can call this 4.0. So then this is gonna be 4.0 after we've moved the decimal place. Because we moved the decimal place one spot to the right, we're gonna say times 10 to the negative one. Remember, you always do negative exponent when you move the decimal to the right. So times 10 to the negative one times 10 to the negative eight. And now we can say 4.0. When we have like bases multiplied together and they both have an exponent, we can add those exponents together. So negative one plus a negative eight is gonna be a negative nine. So we get times 10 to the negative nine. And this is our answer in scientific notation. Now we wanna look at our second example where we have 3.6 times 10 to the negative eight divided by six times 10 to the negative two. We'll deal with these whole and decimal numbers here separately. So we're going to do 3.6 divided by 6. So we can say 6 into 3.6. We bring our decimal straight up. 6 can't go into 3, but it can go into 36 six times. So we get 36 and 0. So we know we have an answer of 0.6 here. So we're going to get 0.6. And then for 10 to the negative 8 divided by 10 to the negative 2, we take the exponent from the numerator, negative eight, and we subtract the exponent from the denominator, negative two. This is gonna become negative eight plus a positive two. We cancel those two negative signs, which is gonna give us negative six. Adding that down here, we get times 10 to the negative six, but we're not quite in scientific notation yet. We have to move this decimal one place to the right, so we have 6.0. So we're gonna get then 6.0 times 10 to the negative one, which we get as a result of moving the decimal one spot to the right, and then keep our 10 to the negative six. And then we add our exponents together just like we did before. Negative one plus a negative six is negative seven. So we get 6.0 times 10 to the negative seven. And if we look at our last example here, we'll do the same thing. 1.5 divided by three. So we do three into 1.5, bring our decimal up. Three doesn't go into one, but it does go into 15 five times. So we get 15, subtract, give us a zero. So we have 0.5. So we'll have down here 0.5, and then 10 to the fourth over 10 to the 12th, we do four minus 12, numerator exponent minus denominator exponent. Four minus 12 is a negative eight, so we get times 10 to the negative eight. But again, we're not in scientific notation. We need to move the decimal over one spot so that we end up with 5.0 times 10 to the negative one 
times 10 to the negative 8. Adding our exponents together, we get 5.0 times 10 to the negative 9 as our final answer in scientific notation.